So Steve, um, second week of the regular season, uh, back in training, uh, how's it gone this week? Um, the lads are in, in, in good enough spirits, you know, we we obviously all disappointed, but it's the thing about football, you always got the next game to, to focus on and look forward. Um, obviously we we know there's things we could have done better, we, we know there's, um, there's things we need to sharpen up on, but you know, we we weren't we didn't come off there thinking there was a bad performance. We just thought we'd come up against a very good side and we got punished. And there wasn't a lot in the game. We we, we can see the deflected goal right near the end. And uh, you know, the more more concerning thing this week is is the same as last week really, which is which is the amount of injuries we, we've uh, we've got. So um, we've just spent most of this week talking, walking through things, looking at different variations of teams, but um, also trying to keep the lads. Um, Injury free, the ones that are off it. Yeah, and obviously, despite the result, everyone seems in quite good spirits and around here. Yeah, no, I think, you know, I think there's a lot, there's a lot to look forward to. We've got, um, we've got so many games to play, and as I said last week, you know, nothing's going to be won or lost on the first weekend, second weekend, third weekend, fourth weekend. So, um, you know, we're confident that we've got the right squad uh, when when everybody's back and everybody's firing. Um, so yeah, we are, we are, there is a lot to look forward to. So as I say, the, the only only downside to it all is, is players that we are without. Yeah, and obviously we're moving on to Gloucester this week and um, the standout team last year, top of the table. Are you expecting a lot of the same this season? Yeah, I mean they're they're a good side. They've got good players. You know, they've got good movement up top. McClure is a very good striker. Um, good good, um, good energy. Good youth. Uh, you know, the two centre halves are. Not very experienced, but they're very mobile, very good on the ball. Um, but as I say, we, we've, um, we've we've got nothing to fear. We, we'll go down there and and, and and give it a bash with the uh, with the squad that we've that we've got available to us. And um, we've uh, we've got um, a couple a couple more actually from last week, which is you know it's it's certainly far from ideal. Um, you, I think you'll see when you get down there who they are. I don't I don't see any point in. Um, letting the opposition know now, but yeah, there'll be there'll be even a couple of players less this week, so we'll be we'll be really down to the bare bones. But as I say, we're not making excuses; they're facts, and uh, we'll, we'll go down there still hoping and, and, and with a total focus on coming back with points. Yeah, obviously, in the meantime of these injuries, will it be the case of players filling in positions and youth players? And yeah, I mean, it's it's going to have to be. You know, I mean, it's it's it, it happens all around football. Nobody, nobody will tell you that probably more than me. You know, I've pretty much played every position. I, on the park for, for a lot of the clubs I played at, um, and you know you have to do that at certain times. You know, squads in these leagues, you can't you can't cope without four main injuries, let alone you know more than likely six on Saturday of all first teamers. So you know you, you can't you haven't got cover for all those positions. Not many teams in the, in in any league can do that. So yeah, we we will be asking players to do things that are slightly foreign to them, and that's the sort of stuff we've been working on this week.